for the first time, I guess in my life ever, I've been afraid for the outcome of a presidential race. My name is David Poulin. I live in New Smyrna, Florida. I'm a lifelong Republican and I'm voting for President Obama. My wife and I have two children, Matthew who's 21 and Allison who's 18. A few years ago, Matthew started having what we thought was a flu. He was sick, he was throwing up. I couldn't sleep. Whenever I laid down, it was hard to breathe. It just got worse to the point where my mom was like saying, we need to take you to the emergency room, and I didn't want to go. We were told after a battery of tests, he was uh, positive for what they call Coxsackie B virus, which is just a flu, and it had attacks the heart. Matthew's heart was shutting down. That one day changed our whole life forever. They told us that through the process of getting the transplant and caring for it and medicating a transplant patient, it could be a million dollars plus. And, you know, for middle class family, I mean, there's no way. The majority of what you have right here is labs and radiology. If we did not have insurance to help us out, I don't know how we'd pay for his medication alone. That is something that David and I both look at as parents as to how we can help Matthew in the future guarantee that he has what he needs. When the Affordable Care Act came into play, every burden was lifted. We knew that there was a pre-existing condition clause that meant that should Matt lose his insurance for any reason, they couldn't deny him coverage because of his heart condition. Somebody with a condition like my son's that's gonna take care for the rest of his life. We're looking at uh, their estimate of $1,800 a month in prescription medications, every month, forever. If the Affordable Care Act were repealed, there's no way that we could afford the medical bills and the prescriptions that come along with a heart transplant. The pre-existing condition clause was a big relief to us. When I heard uh, Mitt Romney say that if he's elected president, he will repeal the Affordable Care Act on day one, um, it makes me angry. The next president can decide the quality of my son's life and the length of my son's life. So if I vote for Governor Romney, I'm voting for limiting my health care options for my son. This doesn't even take a second of thought for me. Is he better off because President Obama was president? And the answer is a resounding yes.